Hey guys, what's up? You're watching TV Bones Tech. In this video, I'm going to be doing a review over this, the brand new Canon T6i. Now what's really big about this camera is it has a brand new sensor. It has a 24 megapixel APS-C size sensor. Whereas the Canon Rebel T5i had the exact same sensor as the Canon Rebel T2i. So this update in sensor technology was definitely needed. Now for those of you wondering if you should get the Canon Rebel T5i, for around $100 cheaper, or if you should get the Canon T6i, I definitely recommend getting the brand new Canon T6i. If you guys want to see a comparison video I did between these two, I will leave the link to that video in the description down below. I bought this camera body for $750. If you guys are interested in current pricing and availability, make sure to click the first link in the description down below. That's going to take you to Amazon where it's going to give you the most current price. It supports a three inch variable angle touchscreen. And one of my favorite parts about having a touchscreen is the ability to go into your pictures and easily check your key focus. It has built in Wi-Fi, which is going to allow you to wirelessly connect to your smartphone via Canon's Camera Connect app. And from the app, you can change your focus, you can change your ISO, you can change your shutter speed, and you can change your aperture all manually if you have the camera set to manual mode. If you guys are wondering how to set this up, I'll leave a link in the description down below to one of my second channel videos. And in that video, I explained how to connect your camera to your smartphone. Now this camera has a plug-in for a wired remote. It also has wireless connectivity, so you can connect a wireless infrared remote to it. It also has a microphone in port, which is going to come in very handy for those of you who like taking video on this camera and want to plug in your shotgun microphone. It also has a HDMI out, and it has a mini USB, which is going to allow you to connect this camera to your computer. The SD card slot is right where it's supposed to be on the side of the camera, and so is the battery compartment. Again, they are both on the bottom and on the side, which is where most of you would expect them to be. First thing that I didn't like is the grip isn't very deep at all. It has a very small grip and for people even of average size hands, it's not going to be very comfortable in the hand. Whereas cameras like the Canon 7D or the Canon 60 or 5D Mark III, those cameras have much more ergonomic grips, which is just going to allow you to grab the camera better. This camera shoots full 1080p at 30 and 24 frames per second. If you want to see full 1080p footage that I shot using the Canon T6i, make sure to click the screen or check out the link in the description down below. Now the thing that I hate most about this camera is it doesn't have an aperture wheel, which means that when you're shooting in menu mode, there is no wheel that's going to allow you to change the aperture, which means that you're going to have to look at your LCD display and you're going to have to change it from there, which entails hitting the Q first and then going in and changing your aperture, which is very tedious and annoying especially when you're used to using a aperture wheel. Autofocus on this camera is actually pretty awful in wide view, and it's only decent when you're looking down the mirror. Even though it does have 19 autofocus points and it's supposed to be new and improved, unfortunately, in my opinion, it's still bad. I recommend ditching that 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens and replacing it with a Canon 24 f2.8 lens. The Canon EFS 24mm f2.8 lens is better in every conceivable way. Now if you're wondering how it's better in zoom, since how it can't zoom, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below where you can check out my video where I compared the Canon 24mm lens versus the Canon 18-55mm lens. If you guys want to see sample pictures in a noise performance video, I'm going to leave a link to a video that I did just on that in the link in the description down below where you'll find all the other links to the different things that I talked about. I decided to not show you guys my noise performance tests in my main review because it can get very boring and dry. And same with the sample pictures, but if you're interested in that, again, the link will be in the description down below. That's all I got for you guys in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up down below. And of course, subscribe to my channel because then you'll be notified when I release new videos to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.